Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my iPhone XR and I have been using iOS 15 for now at least about a week. So many of you have requested me to make a dedicated or a separate video explaining all the new features that I'm able to experience or able to see as a part of this developers beta program. So the video is today about iOS 15 and also in this video, I'm going to tell you if you want to experience the iOS 15, how you can enroll your device for iOS public betas which are iOS 15 updates and also I'm gonna try to you know jot down some of the new features that I am able to experience and see on my iPhone 10R so this is the iPhone 10R as you can see this is the phone itself and I've been using this device for more than two two and a half years now and let me tell you right off the bat that the iOS 15 experience has been a breeze. There is no lag whatsoever. The performance is really smooth. I'm going to talk about in detail in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And if you're new here, it would be a humble request to give this video a thumbs up. That would indicate to me that you are liking this kind of content and also consider subscribing to the channel because this also gives me immense motivation to make more of this kind of videos now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and general and about section. So as you can see from the build number, it says that it is running on iOS 15 and it is running on iOS 15 public beta 5. So as you can see, the model name is iPhone 10R. So now let me tell you that how you can first enroll your device if you would like to try iOS 15. So you need to go to beta.apple.com and then you need to sign in with your Apple ID and password. Then you would get to see the kind of, you know, if you want to try the iOS 15 beta on your iPad or Mac OS or then iPhone, then you would be able to just download the profile. Once the profile is downloaded, you have to go to the settings. There you would get a pop-up here. You need to install the profile. Once the profile is installed, the device will restart. And after that, you need to go to the general and software update and check for the software update you would be able to see the ios 15 beta update so that's the simple process how you can experience ios 15 now let me talk about some of the features that i am really enjoying so first things first as you can see talking about the new icons as you can see the maps icon has been updated and it really looks cool if i can show you the ios 14 maps icon let me show you so here you can see the ios 14 map icon so it is looking like this and in the iOS 15, it looks a little bit different. So here it is my iPhone 12 on which I am using iOS 14 and here it is my iPhone 10R on which I am using iOS 15. And also there is a difference in the weather icon as well. So the weather icon looks a little bit, you know, different on iOS 15. It has a darker shade to be honest. Now let me talk about that. So if I click on the weather, as you can see, it depends on whether the weather is sunny or is it raining or it's winter. So, you know, you get this nice little animation and also if you swipe right or swipe left, you get to see the weathers of other locations as well. So there is this, you know, nice animation and also depends on the weather where exactly you are staying. It gives you a nice little animation and also if you come down, you get to see the air quality and also the other stuffs as you can see. So these all things have been, you know, updated with iOS 15. So I like this kind of new weather icon which has improved weather system and, you know, the improved dashboard to give you all the parameters right off the bat. So then again, I'm really enjoying this weather thing. So I wanted to mention that. Talking about the map, so, you know, it gives you a kind of interactive globe system. Once you update your phone to iOS 15, you would be able to definitely see that. and. Now let's talk about the notification. So as you can see from iOS 14 coming to iOS 15, the notifications would actually look bigger to you. So as you can see, all these notifications from Netflix, from Uber, from all these applications looks a little bigger and a little easy for us to, you know, go through all the notification at a glance. So here you can see that. And one more new thing is that this is, a, you know, focus mode, what they like to call it. So previously it was, you know, DND, just simple. Let me show you again. So if you on iOS 14, if you just, you know, tap on this, you just get to see this DND mode. Instead of DND, now you get to see this focus mode, which have different options apart from DND, like sleep, 
personal walk all these options are present here so that's new so if you turn on dnd then once you lock your phone as you can see once you try to unlock there you would be able to see a dnd notification that actually looks cool and from there you can toggle it off and toggle it on if you would like that's really cool that you get to see on this ios 15 so apart from that there were many changes uh, little changes with public betas rolling out and we approaching to the final version of ios 15 there is this continuous feedback that we provide with every uh, public beta or the developers beta so if you are already enrolled uh, yourself as a developers or a public beta and testing the ios 15 then definitely i would urge you to go to this feedback app and definitely put your feedback so it will help apple to develop a more stable software for public so then again this was just a simple video i wanted to let you know guys that i have updated my iphone 10r to ios 15 and there were a couple of features that i have discussed there were many other new features which i will be discussing once the official version of ios 15 is released but as of now i'm recording this video when we are running on ios public beta 5 so then again i hope you enjoyed this little video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of such kind of videos now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye